not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. So if you think politics are annoying these days, try the popular kids song, Baby Shark. It goes like this. Baby shark, did did it, did it, did it, baby shark, did did it. Yeah, that last sound was me shooting myself in the head. After my girls make me listen to that song for the 400th time. And then they play the Chinese version. Then the French version. Baby shark, ooh, la 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 la, baby shark, ooh, la la. Anyhow, uh, whether you think that the presidential debates or the song Baby Shark is more annoying, the fact is that the state of Oklahoma thinks that one of these two things officially qualifies as torture. That's right. Uh, Just recently, two former detention officers and a supervisor at the Oklahoma County Jail have been charged with misdemeanor cruelty after it was discovered that they forced inmates to listen to Baby Shark for extended periods of time. How did they do it? Well, they forced the inmates to stand with their hands cuffed behind them, and then they played the song on repeat for two hours. And as every dad knows, the only way to defend yourself from baby shark is to put your hands over your ears, which of course is impossible when they're cuffed. So what these officers did apparently counts as cruel and unusual punishment. And I agree. Now these Oklahoma County Jail officers are now looking at up to 12 months in prison, which in my opinion is not nearly enough. Now if I were the judge in the case, my sentence would be a little bit different. I would force these two officers to sit in a chair with their hands cuffed and their eyes pried open while they watched an episode of Sparkle Pony Friendship is Magic over and over again. Now that would be justice. Until next time, this is Law Bite. See you then.